PC Electronics. Today's class, we are going to discuss some of the previous year questions of ISRO Technical Assistant Electronic Post, which have been asked in the 2019, that is the last year Technical Assistant Examination. Okay, so let's see what is the first question. How many coulombs of charge do 25 into 10 raised to 31 electrons possess? A. 8 into 10 raised to 12 coulomb. B. 4 into 10 raised to 12 coulomb. C. 40 into 10 raised to 12 coulomb. D. 8 into 10 raised to 12 coulomb. So, in order to answer this question, you should understand one thing that the charge Q is defined as Q, the unit of charge is coulomb, right? So, Q equal to, that is 1 coulomb of charge is the charge of 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons. So this is the one thing which you have to know. So while defining the coulomb or the charge, the charge is defined as the, that is one coulomb of charge is defined as a charge possessed by 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons. So if one coulomb is the charge possessed by 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons means what will be the charge possessed by 25 into 10 raised to 31 electrons? How will you find it? That is the charge Q is equal to the equation is number of electrons by 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 is your equation. Okay, so so, in order to find that how much amount of charge is possessed by this number of electrons means it can be any number. Then in order to find the amount of charge in charge present in any number of electrons, you have to divide the number of electrons by 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 because 1 coulomb is a charge possessed by 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons. So, for this question, we have 25 into 10 raised to 31 by 6.25 into 10 raised to 18, right? So, 25 by 6.25 is 4. Now, 31 by 18 is 13. Okay. So, 31 by 18, how much? It, it is 13, right? So, it is 13. So, the answer is 4 into 10 raised to 13 coulomb. So, can you see any 13 in this option? There is no 13, right? So, just make it as 12. So, in order to make this as 12, we need to add a 0 to the 4. So, the charge will be 40 into 10 raised to 12 coulomb. So, the answer for this question is option C, that is 40 into 10 raised to 12 coulomb is the amount of charge possessed by 25 into 10 raised to 31 number of electrons. So, in order to answer, this is a common question which is seen in uh, the exams which is related to electronics. So, you need to know one basic thing here that is 1 coulomb of charge is the charge possessed by 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 number of electrons. So, if you want to find the charge possessed by n number of electrons, that is the n can be anything, just divide that number by this 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 and then you will get the answer. Okay, the next question is. The period of the signal x of t cos 2 pi t into cos 4 pi t minus sin 2 pi t into sin 4 pi t is what? 1 by 3 seconds, c b uh, 1 by 6 seconds, c 1 by 8 seconds and d none of this. So by looking into the question itself, it is, uh, it is clear that it is the expansion of some cos or sin term. So the cos, cos a, cos b, sin a, sin b form is there, right? So this is A, this is B. So cos A, cos B into sin A, sin B is the expansion of what? Cos A plus B. So cos A plus B is given here, which is cos A, cos B minus sin A, sin B, right? So here what is A and what is B? A is 2 pi t and B is 4 pi t, right? So we can write this x of t as cos 2 pi t plus 4 pi t, right? So, this is actually, the signal x of uh, t is actually cos 6 pi t, right? Okay. 
So this signal x of t is actually what is cos 6 pi t. Now this 6 pi t can be written in general format as that is x of t in general form. We can write it as cos 2 pi f into t right. So this is a general form of the equation and the given equation is cos 6 pi t. So by equating this equation 1 and this equation 2 we can obtain the value of f right. So here 2 pi f is equal to 6 pi right. So what I will do is I will remove this thing and I write in the above. So here 2 pi f equal to 6 pi right. So this pi and pi will get cancelled. So you will get the value of f as 3. Okay so the value of frequency or f is 3. Then time period t equal to 1 by f that is equal to 1 by 3 seconds is your answer. Okay. So, in order to solve such questions, just try to simplify this expansion and you will get some cos term or sine term. Then, uh, then you have to find the value of your frequency. Then take 1 by f of that frequency and then you will get your time period. Okay, so the correct answer for this question is A, 1 by 3 seconds. Identify the gates G1 and G2. So, this is the G1 and this is the G2. Respectively in the figure to obtain Y as A, B, C. That is A into B into C. So the combinations are nor and and, and and and, nand and or, or and and. So how I attempt this questions, the questions like this is by trying the options. So if you have a more simpler method, please do comment in the comment section. Okay, so we are going to solve this. First, we will take the first option and try to apply it as G1 and G2. Now, if you take the nor and apply as, here I am going to write this nor, okay. And my G2 will be, from the first option, it will be AND. Okay. And now let us see what is the output obtained here. So here I am going to give a A bar here. Here is a B bar, right. So what is the output of NOR gate? So NOR gate will give an output of A bar plus B bar the whole bar, right. So how can I write it is, that is, how can I write the A bar plus B bar the whole bar? According to the D Morgan's law, it will be A bar the whole bar into B bar the whole bar, right? So, this is De Morgan's law. So, if you are not familiar with the De Morgan's law, we have already done a lot of simplifications of Boolean expressions. We have discussed about the De Morgan's law also. Please do watch that videos. Okay. So, this is just by applying De Morgan's law. So, what will be that A bar, the A bar bar is equal to A and B bar bar is equal to B. So, this will be a into B, right? So, this is AB. And this AB is given to this gate. So, here we have A into B and there is a C. And if it is given to the AND gate, then the output will be what? It will be A into B into C, right? So, we have already obtained our output. So, we want a ABC. So, this is our ABC. And the correct answer is the first option itself. So, this is very simple. So, while solving this question, that is by trying out the uh, options. So while such questions have been asked in exams, just try out the options which you feel that which may be the answer. So uh, you can also do one thing because this uh, is having an A, B, C. There is a product term, right? So uh, all, the, all the expressions are having product terms also. So you have to try the options one by one and uh, try, to, uh, try to apply the options which you feel that this can be, uh, I mean, which is having more probability, okay. So, try to apply the options to the unknown variables. That is here G1 and G2. So, and then try to find the answer. So, here we have obtained the correct answer as G1 is no and G2 is and. So, the correct answer for this question is option A that is no gate and and gate. Okay, next question is what is the sum and carry of full adder circuit having A and B as inputs and C in as carry in. So this is a very direct question which we have to study in digital electronics. So we have to find the sum and uh, carry out of the full adder. So there are a lot of combinations given. Now how to find uh, such a question if you don't know that is if you uh, don't know the answer by heart is I'll tell you. 
So we know that there are three inputs, right? So A is one input, B is one input, and C in is one input. That means how many how many number of bits is having? Uh, uh, I mean, how many number of bits is given to the full adder? That is three bits, right? So we have to write the three bit uh, expressions. That is three bit uh, values like zero 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 one zero one zero. Various combinations we have to write, and we have to find the sum output and carry output for each of this combination. Okay, we will try to do that. So A, B, and C in is there, and the output is sum is one output. And carry is one output, right? So the various combinations are zero 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 one zero zero sorry zero zero one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one one zero one 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 one. So these are the various combinations of three bits, right? So what will be the sum if you take the sum of three these three zeros sum is zero carry is also zero now if you take the sum of the zero zero one then sum is one and carry is zero here also zero plus one is one one plus zero is again one so one carry is zero so here uh, zero plus one is one one plus one is one plus one is sum is zero and carry is one Okay, wherever there is two ones, you have to think. Whenever you are adding two ones, means you will get a sum of zero and carry of one. So one plus zero plus zero is one carry zero. One plus one is zero carry one. Here again zero carry one. Here one plus one is zero carry one. Right. Again, if it is added with this zero is added with one, means you will get a sum of one and carry of one. So. This is the truth table for a full adder. Now, how to find the expression? That is, this is the expression for sum. Various uh, options are given. So, this is the table for your sum. This is a table for your carry. Now, if you K map, if you find the K map expression of sum, you will get an expansion here. And also, if you uh, do the three bit K map of carry, you will get an expression. So, that is how you have to solve. And while doing the K map, you will get the sum as sum will be A XOR B XOR C, and carry out will be this is the carry out right. So this is a C C out. That is C out will be A into B plus A XOR B into C in. This is your expression. So how to solve it is by Writing the truth table, then drawing the three bit K map. Now, if you are not familiar with the K map, we'll be doing a video on how to solve the K map very soon. But this is how you have to solve it: sum and carry K map. You have to draw, and then you have to find the value. And here, from this options, if you look, the option D is having this two values. That is A X R B X R C in, and C out equal to A B plus. C in into A X R B. So the correct answer for this question is D is your correct answer. So uh, another thing is that this thing is some theory topic in digital electronics. You have to uh, actually uh, by heart uh, these things. But if you are not able to by heart, means you can solve by writing the truth table and then drawing the key map. This video I have included some of the previous year questions of 2019 ISRO Technical Assistant Examination. So, if you found this video useful for your preparation, please do give this a video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with all your friends who are preparing for Technical Assistant Exam. And also, if you are preparing for ISRO Scientist Electronics Post or RRB exams or UPSC or PSC exams. Please do subscribe to the channel because we are doing videos on all of these topics. Okay, so please do watch the videos. Please do give your encouragement. Thank you. Thank you for watching and keep on watching.